Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Sunday Okamoda of Hartford. Hi, radio listeners and friends. My name is Sunday Okamoda. I'm back again. I'm, I'm, I'm from Winners Chapel International, Connecticut. We are located in the great city of Hartford. And I'm day, and this is day number three. We are looking at biblical lessons, scriptural principles from the life of Jonah. Day number one, we saw that God speaks to us in his majestic voice. Day number two, which was yesterday, we saw that we have a specific purpose. We are not a biological accident. And this is day number three. I'm here to let you know that you don't run away from your purpose in life. Please write that down if you can. If you are driving, yes, I understand you can write. But if you are told, write this point down. Do not run away from your God-ordained divine purpose. Look at that in Jonah 1 verse 3. It says, but Jonah ran away from the Lord. He ran away from the Lord. The Lord told him to go, in verse 2, say, go to the city of Nineveh. But verse 3, Jonah ran away and he headed to Tarshish. Bible scholars have told us that Tarshish was in the opposite direction. He was supposed to go northward, but he turned southward. He ran away. So I'm here to encourage somebody this day. This third day of our Bread of Life program this week, that do not run away from your divine purpose. Do not run away. And why did Jonah run away? Jonah held something bitter against Nineveh. It was possibly that there was something in his heart against Nineveh. There was an offense. There was a judgment. There was an anger. There's something about the historical context about Nineveh, and he held on to that. Understand that historically, Nineveh was an extremely brutal place. It was a place of violence. It was a place that lacked disorganization. It was a place where people did evil, and he did not, Jonah did not want to go there. So what keeps you running after where God has told you to go? My brother, my sister, do not run away from your purpose. Do not let fear sabotage the mission of God that God has planted in your heart. Somebody once said, said, when fear knocks at the door, you send faith to open the door, and then you will see that there's nobody there. When fear knocks at the door, you send faith. And when faith opens the door, you will see that there is no one there. <clears throat> so you and I must know that we should not let fear guide our lives. We should be bold in the Lord. We should be courageous in the Lord. Another lesson is that do not waste your resources. Jonah wasted his precious money on the wrong trip. Instead of him to go towards uh, Nineveh, he ran towards Tashish. So don't waste God's given resources in your life. Where your treasure is, there is your heart. We can only have so much time, so we only have a little time. Time is precious. You need to invest it. It usually isn't a matter of not having enough time. It's a matter of not having enough discipline to do what you should do at the right time. God will give you exactly what you need, but don't waste it. By killing time. Somebody is there, I'm encouraging you that do not waste your resources. You need to have discipline. Life is about discipline, 
And the Lord will bless you. I will see you tomorrow. My name is Sandy Okumoda. Bye for now. You've been listening to Pastor Sunday Okamoda of Hartford, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.